You think updating the autopsy report counts as foreplay. You are both the moron and the morosexual. You were a Yuri fan back when the original trilogy was all you had to work with. Your ideal date involves arguing about types of ladders. Your ideal date involves fleeing into the woods with your cottagecore GF. You're always a slut for workplace romances. You've never seen an obsessive desire for revenge that you didn't think was at least a little sexual. You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of avenging someone's death. You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of codependency. You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of elaborate ruses. Either you think Dual Destinies is the best post-trilogy game, or you're a sucker for any emo edgelord who secretly has a heart of gold. Nothing personnel, kid. You don't understand people who can't see the appeal in writing fanfiction for a character who only exists in the story to get killed off for a plot point. What is fanfiction for if not fleshing out a character who only exists in the story to get killed off for a plot point? Either you think Spirit of Justice is the best post-trilogy game, or you just want good things for Emma. And really, who wouldn't? You're not necessarily here to fuck dads, but you are here for a daddy. You are just here to fuck dads. You're just here for some edgy twinks. Either you think Apollo Justice is the best post-trilogy game, or you're just here for some men getting pegged. You just want good things for Gumshoe. And really, who wouldn't? You believe that no college lesbian phase is ever really just a phase. This is just the same joke as Mia and Godot, but for WLWs. You're always a slut for relationships that seem soft and fluffy on the surface, but are actually built on a complex web of lies and deception. Also, you are heterosexual. You actually speak Japanese. Congratulations! 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 Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations.